Hello, my name is Ken. Uh, my call sign is K9KEN. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook today and how to get the logbook to auto submit your uh, QSOs to EQSL and HRDlog.net. Uh, so that way, every time you enter a new call or a new QSO in the logbook, it will automatically send that for you. So the first thing you're going to want to do, um, well, first of all, we are using version 5. Uh, this happens to be 2777. Um, I believe that version 4 does not have these options, but version 5 will auto-submit for you. So you want to go to Tools, and you come down here to Configure. Um, here You'll see uh, EQSL here in hrdlog.net here. So let's set up EQSL. You're going to come in here and you want to click upload every time an entry is added to the logbook. So you're going to click that. You're going to enter your information here. Uh, you want to skip over the nickname unless you're using uh, profiles on EQSL and have different accounts. Uh, you come down here to QSL message. Now this is going to be the default message that it sends your uh, contact, uh, your other EQSL uh, contact. Um, when it sends him a notification, it'll, it'll give him this message. So let's put something in here. Put in like, thanks for the excellent QSL. Hope to work you again. Okay, and click OK. Now that's uh, completely set up. Let's go up and do the same thing with um, HRD log. So you're going to come in here. Um, when you signed up for HRD log, you were issued an upload code that came to you in your registration email. Um, that's what it's asking for right here is the upload code, not your password. A lot of people stick their password in here and then uh, wonder why they can't seem to get it to work. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is upload every time a logbook entry is added, just like you did on the EQSL page. And uh, you want to have uh, the on-air regularly upload current frequency mode and radio checked as well. That will allow you to uh, show what frequency you're listening on, show an on-air beacon or an on-air light, and uh, show show you uh, some information like that and that kind of stuff you can uh, embed into your profile or whatever. If you're a member of um, Ham Radio Nation, my website, all this stuff is already built into your profile. So once you have these two set up, uh, you'll, you'll see that on your profile. It'll start showing where you're listening, uh, what radio you're using. It'll show your last uh, 15 QSOs and so on and so forth. So you're going to want to put your username in here. Get my call sign right. And uh, the upload code you were issued. And uh, that's it. Click OK. And uh, that's all set up. So now every time that you um, add an entry to the logbook, it will automatically submit it to EQSL and HRD log for you. I hope that helps out a little bit and I uh, look forward to doing a couple more of these tutorials. If you have not already, check out my website, uh, hamradionation.com. Um, it is a social networking site for amateur radio operators. Uh, all users are licensed and verified, so there's not a lot of the uh, usual crap that you find on everybody else's site where you're getting advertisements with your personal messages and a bunch of garbage posts. So uh, I hope to see you there, and I'd be honored to have you as a member. K9, K-E-N, my name again is Ken. Have a good night, 73.